Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, and today we're going to do a review on a uh, new bicycle pump I got to replace the old one I was carrying around in my bag. This is the Lazine Micro Floor Drive High Volume Pump, okay? The, the company makes two versions of a pump like this. They make the high volume pump, which is the one I have here for you, and then they make a high pressure one. So um, the pump cost me uh, right around $45. I happened to pick mine up on Amazon. Uh, good pump, okay, I like it. Um, again, high volume pump, it's great for fat bikes. When you buy the pump, you will you obviously get the pump, all right, and it also comes with a bracket that you can use to mount the pump on the water bottle bolts on your frame. So you can mount this to the bike. Let's talk about this pump real quick. Uh, number one, and I'll have some footage I'm gonna show you later on about me actually using the pump. It really does produce a lot of air fast. I mean, it does, it does the high volume probably a little better than I expected. You'd think these little pumps, it takes forever, but no, it does a pretty good job. And uh, it really was designed nice to help brace the, the pump itself when you pump. Let me, let me explain. So a couple things on the pump. Number one, it gives you this nice long uh, tube that you're going to be using to attach the pump to the, to the tire. All right. Uh, my buddy, I, I recommended this to my buddy Frank, and he actually picked it up, and he, he showed me a little trick. Take the top and just flip it over first. I mean, the most basic idea, but it made so much sense when he showed it to me. And then there's less pressure on the threads. Okay, so then you can take this part off of the base. All right. And this is called the uh, the quick chuck, I guess. I've, I've read it called that. But it's it's the part that you put on top of the, uh, on the valve of the tube. It has two sides. This is set up for, um, for Schrader. Okay, and if you spin it around, you can then have it set up for uh, Presta, okay? There's a little um, button here to help let the air out. Let me explain to you what that does. According to the website and from what I found as well, when you're using it in Presta mode and you push on the button, it'll let the air out of the chamber that this has here, okay, attached to the Presta valve. What that's good for is so that when you're unscrewing the chuck off the valve, all right, when you're unscrewing the chuck off the valve, it may have the tendency of removing the valve from inside of the actual tube. You know how the Presta ones, can you can and spin that. When you push the button, the air comes out. It should, should not do that. The, um, if you bring it back over to the Schrader side, all right, and then you push the button, this is now going to allow you to kind of help fine tune the pressure inside of the tire. Um, so why did I actually get this one? Besides the high volume, it does have the tube, which is huge because with the fat bike, I mean, those, those tubes, you're, you're pumping the heck out of that thing to fill that tube up. So if you have the ones that you mount with your hand on the valve and then you, you kind of pump it like that, you have a tendency of wiggling the pump and you can break the valve, all right? So with the hose, okay, the hose allows you to not keep pushing that, putting that motion on the, on the valve. The other thing it has is this cool little footrest adapter, little bracket thing here, all right? Bends down. And then you can, you can step on that with your foot or with your knee, and it makes it easier to kind of stabilize it when you're pumping. Um, the version that I got was the one without the, um, inside the hose, you can get one with a gauge to tell you how much pressure there is in it. I chose not to just because I was afraid of maybe one more thing breaking. 
Then my buddy Frank got the one with the valve, with the pressure gauge in it. I think it's actually a little bit nicer. So if I was going to buy it again, which I would buy this pump again, I would buy it with the, um, the pressure little gauge on the side. But technically the one without the gauge is supposed to be a little bit lighter. Fits nice in the bag. Uh, it's not a big, big job. You just kind of slide it right in there. It's, it's a good deal. Um, what did I want to cover over here before I show some footage? Again, real nice build quality. Doesn't really weigh that much. Does come in a couple different versions. Um, yeah, so let me go show you some footage and then we'll, we'll kind of come back and uh, give you my final thoughts on the pump. Okay, just hang in there. We'll take a look at some footage. So you saw in that footage me actually filling up a uh, fat bike tire. Um, you know, again, works really well. The reviews for the pump have generally been pretty good on the websites that I've been checking out for this one. Again, it's the Lazine Floor, the Mike, the, the Lazine Micro Floor Drive High Volume Pump. Okay, uh, nice pump. Give it a try. I, I definitely would recommend it. And like I said. If uh, I had to replace this pump for some reason, I would. I would just get the one with the, uh, with the little gauge in there because I think that might be a little bit better for me to get the actual pressure that I'm looking for rather than the, you know, squeeze the tire check and hope it's the right one. Okay, I hope the review was helpful for you and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Take it easy, folks. How, how.